Hey guys. Thank you so much for 2000 subs, that is insane. Thanks for liking videos, that is the main reason why. Our videos are getting recommended. Sorry I don't have anything special for you. I didn't expect it to hit this number this fast. Thanks again. Now enjoy new video. Just got back from taking graduation pictures. About to play Minecraft by myself. When you order Sasha Gray from Wish.com. Warmed version of Sasha. In the wild, this is what artists look like before they become e-girls. You look like you are none of your best friend's best friend. Usually I don't have to comment about microscopic foreheads on here. That's new. If I didn't have bangs you'd be saying the opposite. Maybe you should get bangs for your chin then. Nobody is gonna buy your bath water. Guess I'll take down my eBay listing. I'm sure your weird uncle would probably like it as a gift though. Haven't shaved since quarantine started, you should see the downstairs. It's the attic that you should be concerned with. Your hair has receded so far it's now on your chin. You were meant to post a photo of your face, not of your untrimmed left nut. I thought I was looking at an upside down head. They call me Spanish Harry Potter. Member of the notorious street gang MS9 3 quarters. That's not what they mean when they say you're in the closet mate. They call you Harry Potter because they wished you hadn't lived. Unrelated, but imagine having an invisibility cloak in real life. Just saying. Nobody actually pays him any attention, so it won't make a big difference. They call him Harry Potter because of his STD. He always has Hogwarts with him. I've seen a lot of pathetic shit on this sub, but giving yourself a nickname like that, just because you think your glasses look cool is a whole new level of sad. Your mother clearly botched the fetus to Letius charm. I remember Harry and Malfoy having a wand duel, not a prison yard shank. Dyed my hair myself, and now looking like a tweaker, please destroy me. Damn shame male salons are unessential. The patch up job on those acrylics is more low effort than the porn slash daddy issue jokes 99% of these roasts are going to be. You were only supposed to roast the person in the picture, but you became consumed with power. Billy I wish. You look like the girl in high school who changes her name to Luna and goes to anime club. Your nails are longer than any relationship you'll ever have. I bet your parents call you their little angel, hence the necklace, but they have no idea you have cutting scars up and down your legs, and you snort cocaine off the edge of bathtubs at strangers homes in between vomiting sessions caused by shot after shot of the type of whiskey that comes in plastic bottles. I bet you think sex is love too. Enjoy being a single mom someday, wearing dark eyeliner as you smoke menthols, saying loud and proud I don't need no man so often, that you hope you can convince yourself that it's true. Your career will peak as a Waffle House waitress wearing a back quote, 20 years of service pin on your understarched uniform collar. I'm a straight man who somehow ended up owning a bridal shop, which was going great until everyone stopped getting married. Now my shop is as empty as my bank account, and I'm probably going to go under in another few months. I managed to fail at something I never wanted to do. Cut me deep. You look like the reflection in a spoon. This one is my wife's favorite. Look on the bright side, soon she'll be your ex-wife. Maybe you can sell her a new wedding dress out at your storage shed. That's a pretty elaborate plan, just to plant some spy cams in changing rooms. Actually, this is the most intelligent move a pervert could make with the spike cams. The irony in you owning a bridal shop is that you're a Bills fan, a team with no rings. Look on the bright side, you can wear a different dress each day of lockdown. With that forehead you can probably iron the dresses yourself when you're running a fever. First thing a straight man does is not introduce himself as a straight man. Nice try though. Fuck me up. Spy Kids really ruined careers. From Spy Kids to casting couch in 10 short years. Original poster. Hello, Walmart. Do you have any shirts that match my self-esteem? Walmart, I'm not sure what you mean. Op, low, 
thin and tattered. Don't forget cheap too. Wamad has covered that. You look like the cowardly lion from Wizard of Oz. Do you know what a practice girl is? You look like you say I love you on the first date. Pretty surprised not to see not safe for work stuff on your profile. Not that I was looking forward to it. Don't get too discouraged over the comments about your chest. It's perfectly natural to have some sagging after the age of 40. An amputee gamer who lifts to compensate. Tear my other leg off. If you keep sucking your stomach in while squeezing your two abs you're gonna blow your arsehole out. No leg comment. I respect that. Abs on skinny guys are like big tits on fat women. They don't count. Hahaha <laughs> relax man. I'm pulling your leg. Away. For sale. Right Nike. Never worn. You know you can show your leg without taking your shirt off right. Brings a whole new meaning to missing leg day. I tried to come up with a clever reply, but like op, I'm stumped. I bet your favorite game is League of Legends. How much do you squat? 50%. Even your leg is shredded. I've scorched a few of you guys on here, I guess it's my turn, before we are all fucked. Your hair looks like pointed was added by a snapchat filter. He should be on dread lockdown for that awful hairdo. You are the Terry Crews who decided to go to chill at practice instead of the gym. I found a picture of Terry Crews that looks exactly like you from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I didn't know who P. Goldberg had a daughter. You look like you've time traveled to this post from a hootie and the blowfish concert in 94 feet. This emo fucker's nose so big he can smell braille. I always wondered what Stevie Wonder looks like with his glasses off. A lesbian Snoop Dogg. You look like you ask your parents for rent money then go buy some cheap cash. You mean his mom. 18 year old high school graduate who works at McDonald's and has no plans for college. Figured I would finally do this. Make it hurt. You need to follow in your dad's footsteps and bail. Fuck dude, that actually kinda hurt. Not the first time you've said that to another man before. You look sad. Things will get better. Keep your chins up. You're the reason the ice cream machine is always broken, aren't you? Oh god you even use the back of an order ticket. It was the closest piece of paper there, so I just used it. Yeah, anything to spare yourself from walking, huh? Oh my god. You won't be working there long once they find out you've been putting your phone number in all of the Happy Meals. You look like Snape's unwanted child. Not gonna lie, I would be fine with being Snape's child. You'd be happy if anyone would call you their child. 24 years old and 12 days post heart transplant. They say laughter can make a bad situation better. Give it to me. Are you sure it was a heart transplant? It looks like a botched breast reduction. I didn't know they performed C-sections that high. Louis the 100th section. I thought the pig was the donor of the heart, not the recipient. Hopefully it was the heart of someone familiar with physical activity. Give it a couple years. Op will also clog this one with cheeseburgers and french fries. If the donor knew it went to you, I bet they would be pissed. In a couple years when the family of the person whose heart you got reaches out because they would like to meet the beneficiary of their loved one's gift, don't. They've already been through enough pain, and seeing it go to such a colossal waste would be another slap in the face. Lowy C not okay. 25 year old navy vet. Helicopter mechanic. Live in a tiny house with my dog. First time on roast me. Make it count. In the navy they called her the pipe cleaner. 15 confirmed kills. Never said she was a good mechanic. She didn't warn her previous partners that she had HIV. Stop calling your parents basement your tiny house. People are probably going to insult your intelligence, but I don't think that's fair. Joining the navy for a couple of years so that they pay for your gender reassignment surgery and then enjoying veterans benefits is a pretty savvy move, if you ask me.
Thanks for watching. Enjoy rest of the day.